take a look at the MPC era Lionel Blue Comet Hudson. Plastic tender, four wheel trucks, die cast boiler. It had what they called the sound of steam system in it, which you'll hear in a minute. It doesn't sound like the modern sound systems, however. See it smoking. Have another MPC era locomotive, another Hudson, this one's Chicago and Alton. Die cast metal tender, six wheel trucks, sound of steam. Basically, it has the, the same features as the Blue Comet did, but it's even higher quality because of the die cast tender. It came with a set of passenger cars, which I also have, but they're packed away. The Blue Comet also came with a set of passenger cars, which are also packed away, so I can't show them to you. That's an MPC era horn. It's electric and not mechanical. This one's a nice Gulf tank car. I really like the colors. And I'm partial to Gulf gasoline stations anyway. Back during the MPC era, they came out with these high cube box cars. There were about six or seven of them that were very colorful. This is two of that set. These were also used in the Mickey Mouse trains and other trains where they wanted a lot of surface area for colorful pictures and characters and things. These are very lightweight. They have the plastic free rolling trucks on them. And even though it's, they're sort of in the middle of this long train, they track so well that they haven't had any trouble with them pulling off on the corners or anything.
here are two cars I particularly like. The Seaboard Airline. One of those almost forgotten road names these days. And the Main Central. Any of you wonder what those MPC Sound of Steam locomotives sounded like, now you know. Well, my junkyard's filling up. We've added a dinky crane, or is it a Tootsie toy? Let's look and see. Dinky toy. Dinky toy number 752. Somewhere along the line, somebody has repainted it, but that's fine. I didn't have to pay much for it. And now I now I have a nice crane to go with my junkyard. And as you can see, the junkyard is still filling up with junk. Now, if you saw my Clankety Man Halloween video, you know that it's in this box under this truck that Clankety Man sleeps until he walks again. Perhaps next Halloween, he'll get out of there again. That'll depend on Jumpy Monkey, of course, from the surface letting him out, but we'll see. Next, we have a Lionel New Haven Electric. This locomotive was reconditioned by my friend Sim, now deceased. Sim was honored at one of our train club shows where we displayed a number of his fantastic model buildings that he made for his Lionel layout that used to travel to circuit here in North Florida and perhaps other places. What did we hit? that stopped it cold. Well, we hit something, I don't know what, but we'll try it again. Now this, of course, is a genuine Lionel era locomotive with magnet traction. It has just one single motor, though, so it doesn't have the pulling power of Lionel's famous GG1, which came with two motors with magnet traction. The GG1 also had a die-cast boiler, or, or top, anyway. It's not a boiler, because it's an electric engine, but it had a die-cast metal top, whereas this is plastic. But the panographs are similar on this. We have a flashing light instead of a headlight, so I suppose I should be running at this end forward, but who knows. Well, that concludes the display of the MPC-era Sound of Steam locomotives. Hope to catch you next time.